Research and development for global health is one of the best investments Americans can buy with their global health dollars. If we invest in short-term fixes, we have the same problems over and over again. What we need is long-term fixes, especially in health. We live in such a global village that we can no longer say that problems are only limited to one part of the world. Over the last decade, the U.S. has played a major role in funding global health research, developing powerful new technologies to combat some of the world's most deadly and debilitating diseases. In countries like Kenya, it's a crucial lifeline for those who need it most. With the AIDS epidemic, the landscape has changed. And in the last 10 years or so, we've been much more focused on infectious diseases, HIV, tuberculosis, malaria plays a role in this country, as well as the health of moms and kids. With U.S. government support, the lives of ordinary Kenyans have greatly improved using health technologies and services that are widely distributed. Early childhood vaccines and immunizations protect against life-threatening diarrhea and pneumonia. To combat the spread of HIV AIDS, antiretroviral drugs are now available at reasonable cost to patients like Peter Lumumba. I have been HIV positive for over 23 years. ARVs are helping to reduce the effects of HIV on my body. If I wasn't taking ARVs right now, I would be dead. Solutions such as insecticide-treated bed nets are dramatically reducing the number of malaria cases, especially in children under the age of two. There was a lot of malaria disease. My family was suffering from malaria most of the time. New technologies are urgently needed to meet the global health challenges of the 21st century. In Western Kenya, American and Kenyan scientists conduct more than 60 research studies on malaria, tuberculosis, HIV AIDS, and neglected tropical diseases. Many U.S. agencies support this life-saving work. It's a critical partnership that creates real results with more effective solutions at low cost. So we're on the verge of breakthroughs in malaria and in TB and other diseases, and what we really need is continued support so we can get the job done. We can save hundreds of thousands of lives here and globally. Clinical trials are currently underway to develop the world's first vaccine against malaria, which could be available as early as 2015. If we get a breakthrough, then probably we'll get more breakthroughs for vaccines against parasites. There isn't any at the moment. So this is really, really important work. And to halt the spread of AIDS, the successful development of a microbicide gel may ultimately provide women with powerful protection against HIV. Without U.S. support, it will be very difficult for the microbicide agenda to move forward because the U.S. has been a critical partner in providing catalytic funds and also in funding a large number of the trials that have looked at microbicides. U.S. support of global health medical technologies that transform lives. It's a smart investment with a proven return. One that benefits us all.